It's been a while since I've been excited by an OpenAI update. However, today they have released OpenAI 4.0 native image gen, or just image, they're calling it. Um, I don't know, it is image generation. I'm going to be talking about it in this video. I can't test it. It's not out on uh, pro accounts or plus accounts, whatever I'm on, the 20 bucks a month one. It's not out on, in, on them just yet. It should be out soon, but you can see here, if you still generate... Uh, if, if you generate using what I currently have, like it does a pretty good job, but I mean, this isn't, you know, this isn't anything special. It's nothing new, right? However, what they've done is they've, they've changed a couple of things about this. Okay. So you can mix two images together to create a new image, right? Again, that's not necessarily something new, but I'm going to talk about a very exciting business potential that you can do with this uh, with, with, with this new update that's coming out very, very soon. Perfect text, consistent characters. That th This whole thing, I, I can see exactly why OpenAI Open have done this. They are trying to distinguish themselves from Claude, right? Claude is the most intelligent kind of LLM, right? But what OpenAI is trying to do is, is trying to be the jack of all trades, right? It's trying to do everything well enough so that if you need a solution that needs to do everything, you instantly think of ChatGPT, OpenAI, right? And another thing is their API, so the OpenAI API, is probably the most simple to use. It's probably the easiest to use out of any of the APIs and out of any of the... Um, LLM APIs, right? Okay, so let's get into this video. I'm just going to be reading through this blog post mainly. I highly recommend watching this video if you're curious to kind of see just how good this is going to be. You can see they took a, they take a selfie here and then it just becomes this anime thing. That's a business opportunity, right? Already. AnimeYourself.com. AnimeYourself.com. What do you do? Someone uploads an image, you send that image to the OpenAI API with a prompt that says turn this into um, an anime, whatever, and then you send people a framed or a magnet or whatever anime selfie of themselves, right? It's that simple. And then I want to show you a few more examples that they show here. So um, you can see this is the this is the perfect text thing which again, they are setting themselves apart from other uh, businesses, uh, other LLMs with this. This is a really, really good idea by OpenAI. They have actually cooked with this, in my opinion. You can see that you can now meme yourself very, very easily. But then there's this really cool one. Um, not this one, but this again is very, very cool. Um, very, very high quality, perfect text. Not just perfect text though as well. It, understands the prompt so make a colorful page of manga describing the theory of relativity add some humor it understands very simple prompts and creates something quite complicated from it so there are a few business opportunities that we're going to be talking about in this video but i'll get i'll get to that in a minute i just want to talk i just want to show this update kind of in full um but yeah again i can't sh i can't actually test it unfortunately so here this is really really cool as well um Basically what this is, is it's turning a picture of a dog into a trading card, which is very, very cool as well. And then this one is Memorial Coins. Um, again, this is a really interesting business opportunity. And then another really, really cool thing is, um, I think she's called, I can't remember any of their names, sorry. But the, the person on the left, um, sends this prompt, creates this memorial coin, and then says, make it a transparency background, a transparent background. And Dali is actually capable of doing that, right? Which is super, super cool. But there are some really interesting things right here, right? So I don't really, I, I don't care too much about the research and how it does it and things. But character consistency, right? You can make, just with this one tiny thing, right? But not tiny, you can make animations, comic books, entire animated films, right? The way you do this, by the way, is you animate characters, sorry, you create characters inside ChatGPT, right? And then you send those to something like Kling or whatever. I don't, I'm not really that good with video generation, but Kling would be an example. You get paid Kling. 
you turn that into an animation, you turn it into an entire animated film, you know? So this is very, very interesting. Text is huge, right? The ability to one-shot perfect text, what does this actually mean? It means that you can make um, print-on-demand stores powered by AI, right? So you, just as an example, right? You wait for trends, you spot that trend, you send that trend to um, AI, to DALI, right? Or to ChatGPT 4.0, I don't think they're calling it um, DALI anymore. So GPT 4.0, you send that to Shopify, right? Uh, you can write, so because it's multimodal, you could write a description, a title, tags, everything for that product page automatically, right? And then automatically upload to Shopify. This entire process is something that I've been waiting to do for ages, right? Because my idea is to, for example, have an AI generated iPhone uh, phone case store where every time there's a new trend, a new meme, a new whatever, this entire process happens just automatically. And then I'm one of the first to have you know, um, there was that really famous one. I'm not political. This is nothing polit political, okay? But there was that one, let's go, Brandon, right? I saw this. I don't even know what this means, by the way. I'm really not political at all. I don't even know what it means. But um, I saw this emerging trend as it was emerging. And, like, if you go on, uh, if you write, like, T-shirt after this, it'll have red bubble and all of those things here, right? So my idea is would be to have that entire process automated, right? So that you can start selling trends very, very quickly and very, very easily. So text is huge, right? And also, you know, just being able to make little things like this, logos with perfect text, um, you know, entire brand packages very, very quickly, right? And then there's upload and restyle, which I really, really like, and I'm sure I'll find it a lot of use for. Um, and particularly cool example is uh, this one here, which is just so interesting. Um, and also I really, really like the dog trading card as well, right? So it's turned the dog, the picture of a dog and the picture of a trading card into a trading card of that dog, right? Which again is a potential you know, huge business, right? If you do, you j just think about it, right? You can do any of these things for people because, you know, your grandma and your mum and, you know, all, all these people, they're not going to, they're not going to know that they can just go on ChatGPT, create this themselves, send it to Printful or Printify, get it printed, get it sent to their house. You've got to stop thinking like that just because you know how to do that. It doesn't mean the average person will know or will ever know how to do that. So this whole thing that like AI is going to take over so there's no point doing any business is so stupid, honestly. Make one of these now, honestly. Print on, print on demand, AI generated images, image editing, right? You know, turning, for example, people's memories into coins and sending them actual coins, Are you like 3D printed coins. Are you telling me that's not a good, a good idea? I'm telling you right now that is a fantastic idea. Someone go steal that, go make millions, send me a million when you do. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to this end of, end of this video, you're an absolute legend. I'm exhausted. Please, will AI companies stop releasing things that are worth talking about? I only really make videos on things that I personally think are worth talking about. It's been a while since I made one about OpenAI. I wasn't going to make another video today, obviously. I just made that other video an hour and a half ago, two hours ago. Now I'm here making another one. AI companies, let me sleep, please. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, as I said before, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Probably in another hour when fucking Anthropic releases Haiku or Opus fucking 3.7. I'm calling it right now. If I go to bed and Opus 3.7 has come, has come out, I am, I am an, an oracle. Let me just check it hasn't actually come out before I go to bed. Okay. Okay, it looks like I can go to bed. It looks like I, I can go to bed for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.